Last time on Harvey's New Eyes. I'm sure you know the story of the girl who ran away from Dr. Marcel's asylum long ago. Mm -hmm. The same girl that pushed him down the stairs that same night. Spoilers. You know, I never told you this, but that girl was me. Yeah, we what knew. a surprise. Yeah. And that's why I know my way around here so well. Behind the cushion over there is the famous ventilation shaft that I used for my escape back then. We'll be free in no time at all. We'll have to get past Dr. Marcel's office first, but, um, Lily? Is something wrong? Come on, Lily. Cut us loose. Uh-uh. What's going on? You're not going to do something stupid, are you? Oh, yeah. Lily? Where are you going? Lily! Lily! And now, the mighty conclusion. Very important. Oh. Well, I can't save. But, um, it's important to save before now. Shit. You know what you have to do. Are you sure that's what you want to do? <laughs> Excellent. I knew right away that you're dangerous. The other children, those were accidents. But now, you're here with a sharp knife, ready to kill a helpless old man. You might feel well, but the truth is, you're sick. Very sick. You need my help. You don't believe me, do you? You think you're doing all this for Edna's sake? Oh, Lily. There's something you should know about your friend. She doesn't exist. There was a girl called Edna once. You probably once heard about her. But the girl that you know is nothing more than a figment of your imagination. Cast. An attempt to escape your friendless life at the convent. You think I'm lying, right? Because there's someone else who can also see Edna. Let me guess. A priest, perhaps? No. A policeman, right? That's the enough. manifestation of a higher authority. When you thought that Edna was in danger, your subconscious invented him, too to legitimize defying Mother Superior's rules and helping your friend. Just ask her yourself. They're here. They're a part of you, Lily. Oh, Lily, I'm sorry. The doctor's right, Lily. You're just imagining us. Now put the knife away. The game is over. Wonderful. <laughs> Finally. You see the truth. All the reasons that brought you here in the middle of the night, armed with a knife. None of them were real. Now put the knife on the desk. I'll hypnotize you immediately. Only my therapy can heal you. Unfortunately, he's right, Lily. Don't do it. Put the knife away, Lily. Be a good girl and do what you're told. Lily was close to tears. She had only just learned not to always do what she's told. And now it was supposed to be all wrong? While the others were talking to her, another voice kept getting louder. A voice that told her, Continue. Continue. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Put the knife away. Do what you're told. God. So, uh, what should we do? Should we put the knife away? Should we stab Dr. Marceau? Should we contradict? I... I just don't know, guys. Let's... It's been a long adventure. We should rest. The others were right. Lily was apparently sick. She wasn't capable of deciding what was right or wrong. So she set the knife aside and began her therapy. Dr. Marcel had won. Maybe this wasn't the happy end you were expecting, but the moral of the story is 
You must always do what you're told. Always. Without exception. The end. I hope you guys learned as much from this game as I did. Uh, I mean, how could you not learn more than me? I'm not putting myself down or anything. I've just already been through this game before. Nah, that didn't feel right. Okay, first things first. Saved games. Pick a slot. Save. Resume game. Oh, what to do? What to do? Lily had no intention of undergoing therapy. She'd never felt so free before. She could decide for herself what was right and wrong. Slowly, she raised the knife. No! Lily! No! No! I've killed Maybe before. this wasn't the happy end you were expecting. Sure was. But the moral of the story is... You can do whatever you want, as long as you keep your free will. Even if it means stabbing an old man in a wheelchair to death. The end. And now you know. Wasn't there another option, though? I mean, did it have to be this way? Okay, kill him, don't kill him. I'll be honest, I've never picked this option. Well, I, I did the first time, but as you see... Um, continue. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Put the knife away. Do what you're told. See, there's got to be another option, right? Because ultimately, everybody's telling her what to do. And these first two choices is following that doing what you're told kind of thing. Stop. Continue. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Put the knife away. Do what you're told. But the thing is, with this particular option, it's a trick. It makes you think that it's an actual option. So, you think it's not an option, but it's another reverse psychology. It actually is an ending, and I've never seen this ending. Stop. Continue. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Put the knife away. Do what you're told. That's the thing, though, is, um, it doesn't feel like it, does it? Very good, Lily. Let him have it. That goes for everyone! You've just been bossing me around this whole time! Lily, do this! Lily, do that! But get this! I'm not your lap dog! And you, Doc? If you want to hypnotize me, you'll have to learn how to walk first! Because that's what I'm gonna do now! Your therapy is garbage! Why don't you worry about yourself, Grandpa? Lily kept wailing until she was hoarse. Finally, exhausted yet relieved, she started heading back. For the first time in her life, she was doing what she herself thought was right. Maybe this wasn't the happy end you were expecting, but the moral of the story- And you shut up too! There's no moral here! Got it? The end! I might be mistaken, but I think the voice of Lily was, uh, was the voice of the lunch lady this entire time. That's the true twist. Shyamalan! Well, folks, that's, uh... That's it. You've seen it all. Well, not all. There are obviously some things that I could have done but didn't. There were some things that, like, certain options... You know what? Get the game. It seems like I guess. To be it's, uh... Kind of pointless now when I think about it. But it is a good game. Not a great game, but it's a good game. So final thoughts. Um, reviews scores this way higher than the original Edna and Harvey game, which now I have to play, but I, I haven't actually played. 
Um, yeah, I, ultimately though, as far as uh, it goes, it's, it's very nice. I, I, the mini games change things up. They're not horribly annoying. The tutorial is, but I mean, nothing is something you can't figure out on your own. If anything, I kind of wish it had more some uh, some of that Sierra magic to where you take a wrong turn it just kills you instantly. But I understand why they didn't do that. The least of which being that it would be violence against a child, but let's see what all the other things we did to a child that wasn't violence. Well, how about explosions? Um, Can't stand to watch children bleed. Crushing with a gargoyle? Don't give me that kind of look now. Basically, Lily did everything except start stabbing people to death. <laughs> See how everything will end well. Anyway. Nah, it's, um, it still may depend on it was skill. It was a pretty good game. I I'd really enjoyed myself. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself too. And, and as my, uh, as per my normal tradition, enjoy these credits. These guys worked hard in this game, and uh, they did an okay job. If nothing else, I really like the car cartoon style. I didn't expect how much I would like it. Uh, there's not a lot of animation. I'm not gonna hold that against them because I'm a horrible animator. So, yeah. But uh, that's it, man. <sighs> Better than ghost zombie pirates of Vuju Island. I'll just leave you guys with the credits. I can't stand to watch children bleed. I guess I should revise my statement. Bow! The wound is not going to heal. Forget about all that I said and work harder on your stitching skill. I catered for these circumstances and hands carry needle and stitch in my pants. Now you pay the bill for your lack of skill. And please do stop crying and mourning and sighing. Don't weep like a whelp that is painfully dying. I merely was trying to help. Right here. Take, Take care or you land up scarred, my dear. I can't stand to watch children bleed. Wait, is it just repeating the song now? No, 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 no. It's got to be like the instrumental version of it. They wouldn't they wouldn't let the credits roll and just repeat the music over and over again. That would, that would be ridiculous. Maybe it's in German, like the German version of it. I'm pretty sure this is a German game. I'm looking at all these names. These are very German names. It seems like Oh my god, they are repeating the song again. Uh from the scratch on you. Yeah, I don't know. Don't stop. You stop this. I mean, Dedalick. Dedalick, I love you guys, but what are you doing? You can't You can't just repeat the same song. Surely you guys said, well, you know, this these credit sequence will take like 10 minutes. And in those 10 minutes, we have one five-minute song. So let's just play that five-minute song twice. I mean, who's going to sit through the credits? I am. You, you idiots. Okay, I, I admit... I did it the first time, or the second, or the third, or the fourth. Okay, most people wouldn't, but since I'm recording, I'm going to put credits at the end of the game. Who wouldn't do that? That's redonkulous. You do that. It's Credit is where credit is due, but don't, you're, you're strangling me here. At least put like 
you had other music you could put in here. Uh, I, I don't know. What about that, um... What about that little jig in the hallway of the asylum? That, that was pretty good. Or... Game quality. Functionality. Compatibility. Quality assurance. I can't stand to watch children bleed. There was also, you know, uh, the just the instrumental version of this song. I mean, you guys had that at the very beginning of the game. We got to hear this. I mean, this is a great song and everything, but... Uh, twice in a row? Oh, you're, you're welcome. No, seriously, I didn't, didn't expect that. Uh, and hands carry needle and stitch in my pants. But yet needle and thread can bear dangers instead If you're clumsy and plump and dull fingers and thumbs It might just turn out bad specially when it comes To delicate operations like that Timo? What is Timo? Why this 90? Oh, I have needle and stitch right here. Maybe that's their age. Like, maybe Matthias there is 93 years old. And Benjamin... You end up scarred, my dear. And Benjamin Jacobs is 90 years old. These are old people working on this game. I can't stand to watch children bleed. Like, maybe <laughs> that guy... Ooh, wouldn't it be really cool if all of the characters here were like... Caricatures of people on the team, and Lily is actually what the voice actress looks like, even though I, I, I didn't actually check, but I'm pretty sure she is the woman. Holy crap! Arnold Rutger is 99 years old. Oh, I salute you, sir, for living this long. For your lack of skill. Please do stop crying and mourning and sighing. Don't weep like a what? whelp that is painfully dying. I merely was trying to help. Godspeed, B-Man. Godspeed. <laughs> 